What's going on everyone? In this video, I will cover ASIN targeting PPC campaigns, also known as product display campaigns. Hi there, my name is Steve Koyan and I have been selling with Amazon FBA for more than three years now. I have my own registered trademark on Amazon, and I also sell multiple products towards one specific types of customers. So I will talk about exactly in this video, how to set up ASIN targeting PPC campaigns, exactly which ASINs you should target. And I will also go ahead and cover what ASINs exactly are. So let's go ahead and dive into the computer and get started. Before we go ahead and get started talking about product display campaigns, this video is brought to you by Digital Life Mastery. Digital Life Mastery is my own Amazon FBA course that I have created. I will teach you step-by-step step how to start and build a profitable Amazon FBA business. My Amazon FBA course covers everything in detail. You can go ahead and check it out by going to the link in the description box or visit the digitallifemastery.com. Once again, I will teach you exactly how to start and build a profitable Amazon FBA business so you can quit your 9 to 5 job and start living life on your own terms. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. This YouTube channel is all about Amazon FBA. So let's go ahead and let's cover ASIN targeting PPC campaigns, otherwise known as product display campaigns. Let's say that the product that we are selling are barbecue gloves. Let's go ahead and let's type that in barbecue gloves and let's click on search. So let's say that we are selling this product over here. As you can see, it looks like this product. Let's say we are selling this exact product over here. So let's say our product looks exactly like this. We have the whole listing set up. We have the product photography finished. Let's go ahead and let's say that we are going to use this product as a target. We are going to target this product. So first of all, what are ASINs? ASINs is this over here. It starts with B0. As you can see, this is the link. It's very easy to spot. So it's all capital. It starts with B0. It contains some numbers and it ends over here right before the slash. So this will be the ASINs right over here. When we are doing ASIN targeting campaigns, we are going to get all of these ASINs over here that is in the links that we are going to add these ASINs into the product display campaigns. So this one, for example, is something that we can get to add into our product display campaigns, but we will not do this right now. I want to show you my strategy for doing product display campaigns, the three strategies that I follow for having maximum effectiveness when it comes to the ASIN targeting campaigns. So right in front of me over here, as you can see, is the three strategies that I follow when choosing specific products to target. If you haven't set up your ASIN targeting campaigns yet, then I'm guessing that your product is pretty new. Hopefully by now you have more than one reviews. Once you have your first review, you can go ahead and set up the ASIN targeting campaigns. The first one is the product must have a higher price than what my product's price is. Let's say your product is selling for $21.99. Any product that is $3 and more than that price, you can go ahead and target that product. Any product that has a four star rating and below. So if a customer clicks on your competitor's listing and let's say their price is close to yours, but they have a four star rating and below, or let's say their price is high and they also have a four star rating and below. That is amazing. You can go ahead and target that product or if the product has a bad listing. Let's say the price is close to yours. Let's say the product has a five star rating. It doesn't have a four star rating and below, but their listing is pretty bad. They are not using all of their images. They are using, let's say three images, four images, and it is not very professional. Their copywriting is awful. You can go ahead and target those products. So when it comes to the product example, barbecue gloves, you want to go ahead and do keyword research and see what the highest search volume keyword is for the product barbecue gloves. For this example, let's say that it is barbecue gloves. So BBQ for short gloves. Let's say that this uh, keyword is the highest searched volume keyword. Let's go ahead and let's click on search. So let's go ahead and let's look down 
this list. Let's say our product is selling for $21.99 in this example. Let's scroll down and let's look at products. For example, this one over here, it doesn't have four star rating and below, but it has a higher price. The reviews are higher than theirs, but if you have a great product a listing, great branding, you do not really have to worry about the reviews. Now, price war is definitely something that you do not wanna do. You wanna focus on the branding of your product and avoid price war at all times. But if you have a lower priced product, customers will possibly purchase from you rather than this competitor over here because their price is kinda high. So we can most definitely go ahead and target this product. Let's open up more uh, products. For example, this product over here does not look like our product. So I wouldn't target this product over here. Let's look down the list. So let's also open up this one. As you can see, they have a higher price. So let's go ahead and let's also open up this product. All right, let's look down the list. And uh, this one over here, I believe we just opened this one. We also opened this one. This one has a lower price than ours and they do not have four star rating and below. But what we can do is we can open up this product and we can take a look on their listing. Let's look down the list. As you can see, they do have a great listing. They have enhanced brand content. Once you get a trademark, you will be able to add a video for your product. Let's go ahead, let's X out this product because they do have a good listing. They have all of the images. Their copywriting was on point. So let's look down the list for more products. This one over here, as you can see, low price. I wouldn't target this product. We can go ahead and take a look at their listing, see how their uh, listing is. And yes, they are using all of the images. They have pretty good uh, copywriting. So let's go ahead and let's exit out. Let's look down the list. Let's see what else we can find. This one looks similar. As you can see, the bottom part is different, but we can still go ahead and target this one over here. They have a higher price. Let's look down the list. Let's see if we can find more products. This one kind of looks similar. As you can see this one over here, it has a orange color in the bottom, but they do have a higher price. We can also go ahead and target this one as well. Let's look down for more. This one is $15.99. They have 30 reviews only. Let's open up this product and take a look at their uh, listing. Let's see how their listing is. They have a pretty good listing. As you can see, they are using all of their images. They have a pretty great copywriting. So let's exit out. Let's look down the list. This one over here has a lower price. So I have opened up their listing. As you can see, they do have pretty great uh, listing. So let's go ahead and X out uh, this one. When it comes to your product uh, category, some of the listings will be better. As you can see for this product, the listings are pretty good. But for your product, the category that you are selling in, especially if you go to the second and the third uh, page, you will find products that have a really a bad listing. Now, I recommend that you look at only the first two pages. Customers will rarely go to the second page. They always look at the first 10 listings, but sometimes, of course, they do go ahead and look thoroughly down the first page. But for maximum effectiveness, I do recommend looking through the second page as well. So let's look through these listings over here. So here's the ASIN once again over here. You wanna go ahead and copy these ASINs over here one by one add it in a Google Docs file or a Word Docs file. So once you are setting up your Amazon PPC campaigns, your product display campaigns, which we will go ahead and do momentarily, you wanna go ahead and add these ASINs over here. Now we have opened up a total of four ASINs. Now you may be thinking this is not a lot of ASINs. If you haven't set up any product display campaigns yet, then you are most likely just selling your product on Amazon which means you do not have a lot of reviews yet. Once you have more than 10 reviews, you can go ahead and broaden the scope of the products that you open up. For example, the products can have a price closer to yours or they can have a more than four star rating. But if you have less than 10 reviews, then you wanna go ahead and minimize the amount of products that you target. So when a customer clicks on your listing, the probability of them purchasing your product will be very high. So I'm over at my Amazon Seller Central account. Under the Advertising tab, Campaign Manager, you wanna click on Create Campaign. And under Sponsored Products, you wanna click on Continue. This is for uh, registered brands only. If you have a trademark, then you can go ahead and register your brand on Amazon. So under Sponsored Products, let's go ahead and let's click on Continue. So let's go ahead and give our campaign a name for organizational purposes. You want to give it a name that you can easily come back to. Let's name it ASIN Targeting. Let's do Barbecue Gloves. Great. 
for our daily budget let's go ahead and let's do ten dollars for targeting let's leave it under manual targeting for the campaign bidding strategy let's do dynamic bids up and down dynamic bids down only means if a specific keyword or ASIN in this instance is not performing well Amazon will go ahead and lower the bid on that specific target for dynamic bids up and down if a specific ASIN or keyword is performing well Amazon will go ahead and increase that bid by up to 100% by a maximum of 100% it says it over here fixed bids is basically if you bid a specific bid on a keyword or ASIN this bid will never change no matter how good or bad it is performing so let's leave it under dynamic bids up and down let's scroll over here under the ad group name let's give it the same name based on targeting barbecue gloves for the product you want to add the product that you are selling for the targeting you want to do product targeting go ahead and click on individual products click on enter list and go ahead and paste all of those asins that you have found for those four products right over here and then click on target it will open up over here and click on launch campaign so i have just added these four asins over here let's click on target and let's click on launch campaign so we have these four asins over here one thing i do want to mention is that asin targeting campaigns most of the time have a very high bid as you can see over here the suggested bid by amazon is three dollars 61 cents three dollars 12 cents two dollars 88 cents three dollars 68 cents that's why it is very important to have a pretty low uh, daily budget. $10 is a great daily budget to start with. And for the bid for your ASINs, it really depends what your budget is. If we go ahead and click on apply for the suggested uh, bid, this means that your product will most likely be the first listing that will show up on your competitor's listing. So for my ASIN targeting campaigns, I do like to set it at $1. So let's go ahead and let's click on over here. And let's click on adjust a bid set bid to and let's click on a one and let's click on a save and it will set our bid to one dollars let's click on okay so this is exactly how to set up asin targeting product display campaigns now once you go ahead and launch these campaigns successfully i will now go ahead and show you exactly where your product will appear at so let's say that this is one of the products that we have targeted let's say a customer goes ahead and clicks on the listing they go ahead and they look at the listing let's say the price is pretty high and they go ahead and they scroll down as you can see right over here once you scroll down it says four stars and above not over here but over here it says products related to this item as you can see it does say sponsored over here now if you have gone ahead and clicked on amazon's suggested bid if you have clicked on apply then your product will most likely show up as number one number two or possibly a number Three. but we did go ahead and set our bids to one dollars we should pretty much show up kind of far under these products related to this item but once most of the sellers a daily budget has run out then your product will most likely show up as a number one number two or a number three don't worry your asin targeting campaigns are going to get clicks once again once the other sellers a daily budget have run out for their ASIN targeting campaigns let's say that they are doing the suggested bid that Amazon recommends once their daily budget runs out this means they are no longer a targeting for ASIN targeting campaigns this means that your targeting will show up as the first sponsored item the second one or the third one all right so this is exactly how to set up ASIN targeting product display PPC campaigns I hope you got tons of great information from this video once again I do want to remind you that I have a complete step-by-step -step Amazon FBA course that is on the bottom of this video I will teach you step-by-step -step how to start and build a profitable Amazon FBA business you can go ahead and check out the link on the bottom of this video if you like this video I would really appreciate a big thumbs up and a subscription this YouTube channel is all about Amazon FBA. Thanks for watching. Have a great one, everyone.